everybody so i am currently at the airport looking a beautiful beautiful hot mess i'm here with data data say hi data baby <laughs> data it's me i said hello <laughs> he's a little nervous because today has been really really rough it's been rough on us currently we are sitting in a random terminal i don't even know which one basically i'm going to give you the short version of the story i got to my flight uh, or got to the airport an hour and a half before my flight it's okay, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. He's like super, he's super skittish right now. Um, and the gate agent, there was one gate agent for a very long line of people. And um, that gate agent was not uh, very successful in doing their job. I don't know if he was new or just didn't care. It was just really bad. Messed up a lot of things, charged me like a huge rate for my bags, like all kinds of stuff. And I, by the time I got up to him, I was just like, whatever, just I'll pay whatever, I'll do whatever, just like get me on the flight, I don't care. So everything gets checked in, I'm like, oh good, it's 50 minutes till the flight, that's totally enough time to get through, it takes 15 minutes to get through security. Except he didn't know how to print a boarding pass. Not at all, no clue, had no idea how to print a boarding pass. I waited and waited and waited. About 20 to 25 minutes later, he finally figured out how to print my boarding pass, which I need because I can't print it myself because when you travel with an ESA, AKA this little guy, um, he has to have his own like little pass and you can't print it out yourself because you have to go through uh, like a security check. But I, so I need them to physically print out the boarding pass. I can't go to like the little machine and do it. So finally he prints it out. He does not print me the card for data. There's a special pass for data. And I was just literally like, I don't have enough time. I'm gonna to try to like run and make this flight. So we literally have like 20 minutes to make it to the gate. I haul through security. Luckily, you know, I do fly a lot. So I have like a little status thing that gets me into a faster line, but we get through. He does brilliantly through security as he always does. And um, we get through the airport and we get to the gate. So technically a gate closes 15 minutes before the flight, but if the door is still open, that's when you can get on and off the flight. So it was 13 minutes before the flight was gonna take off, the door was still open, they were still seating people. So I was like, yes, I made it. I get to the door and I'm like, hey, we just made it, hooray. And they're like, oh, we gave your seat up. And I'm like, okay, but the door's still open, you're still seating people you obviously have seats. And they're like, well, we upgraded someone to your first class seat. And I'm like, well, then can you downgrade them? I mean, like I didn't get upgraded into that seat. I physically paid for it. Now I get it. First class is bougie. I get it. I'm bougie, but I am traveling with a dog. And I believe that I need to take care of my animal. And to do that, I like to provide ample space for him to sleep during a long flight. And also I like to make sure that he's not going to bother anyone sitting around him. We've been seated before in economy with people who don't like dogs. It's very challenging and difficult and uncomfortable for everyone involved. So I just purchase a first class seat and take that stress away. Unfortunately, they believed it was a worse option to tell the person who was upgraded, I'm sorry, you know, there was a miscommunication, you're not upgraded, than it was just not letting me have my first class seat. They wanted to give me instead a middle seat in economy. So, they, so basically I paid a ridiculous price for a first class seat. And what they wanted me to take and be okay with was a middle seat in economy. And so this is where my oh hell no moment came in. I was like, I can't, I can't. I paid way too much for this ticket. So they rebooked us on a later flight um, through Chicago, which is like, that's gonna be a mess. I'm like basically flying in an economy seat for a long flight with him would just it would not go well I know from experience it would not go well at all <sighs> so they've really done like nothing else to make this better other than um you know make sure I'm in first class on this other flight but it's like I was going to Austin which flies like through Houston it's like a three hour flight from here now I'm going to Chicago then Chicago to Austin and it's now like a seven and a half hour flight experience so it is definitely not good <laughs> I'm definitely not happy about it so I was like how can I make myself feel better and I'm like, this airport has tons of terrible stores 
And so I thought to myself, I should just go shopping and create a look from these terrible, terrible stores. And now it's like giving me life. It's making me feel happy. I mean, I look a hot mess. I have no makeup. Maybe I can even try to get my makeup at the airport. That'd be pretty funny. But yeah, I'm just literally a hot mess in this airport. I was expecting to take a quick little flight to Austin, get ready, go meet my family for dinner because I have my niece and nephew in Austin. That's obviously not happening because now I get in at like 11.30 at night. Um, so I was like, I'm gonna just go do this to cheer myself up and also to waste like the three hours I have uh, until I actually get out of this airport. Now we'll have to check out a little bit earlier than that because he's gonna have to go potty again. Yeah, but he's, he's, he's a little skittish. He keeps jumping around. I had him wrapped in my jacket earlier, but yeah, let's, let's go, let's go shopping in the airport looking like, like hot garbage. <laughs> hot garbage. It's my new aesthetic, hot garbage. Okay. I also don't have contacts. So these glasses, which look really cool when I'm like done up and look <laughs> really creepy when I'm not. Um, are, that's what I have. This is what I have right now. So we're just gonna have to make it work. Oh, so, um, this airport <laughs> has even more limited options than I thought. This is our first store, it's a bookstore. If I had more time, I would literally make a clothing out of magazines in the airport, cause why not? But I don't have that much time, but yeah. Most of the stores are bookstores here. I haven't even found like a, a terrible like Miami t-shirt yet. And I'm hoping, <laughs> my fingers crossed, for a bad Miami t-shirt because secretly I actually really want one so these are our Miami t-shirts that I found they're pretty bad but they're not terrible I feel like I can do worse than this I bet you they don't even have even have like a plus size <laughs> so it's probably not an option anyway found some really classy jewelry it's just like a single stone and it's for creativity energy and um lord give me strength there's also like just like a peace sign necklace which i feel is very um very in style 20 years ago uh but uh that's that's what we've got so far for jewelry <laughs> i mean it kind of works for me just the tourist just checking out miami and my sweet hat that tells you i went to miami like this is what i don't get why would you buy a souvenir that's literally just like bold print? Like why not get something that's like a fun logo? Why is it just Miami and like the most boring black print ever? Actually, I kind of look good in a hat and I never knew that until putting this on. So we're learning about ourselves in this adventure. Guys, I've hit the mother load. I've hit the mother load. It is, I'm just gonna turn around so you can see the sign. Luxury at $10 at this. <laughs> an entire collection of like accessories and stuff that are ten dollars each so i'm about to go ham and create fashion magic in the airport guys i can get shoes here <laughs> can't get a decent t-shirt but i can get a pair of shoes these are actually kind of cute so they have them in another color which is like a navy now i have big old feet so let's see if i can actually find these in my size size 10 I'm typically an 11, but let's see how big a 10 these are. I should just get them, they're $10. And I've got nothing else to do. So I can try them on in the bathroom. So uh, fun facts, I've actually, I have to put Dana's leash between my legs. I've actually always wanted one of these hats. I don't know why I thought they would look really cool, but I like how it literally has no hat, like the actual hat part of it, it's just my hair. I think the Miami, like, uh, the Miami like baseball cap looked better but uh, now I know that also blossom <laughs> terrible but we got shoes maybe in a size too small but we got them which I feel like would be the hardest thing to get for a look actually pants are gonna be a real struggle but we're crushing it crushing it at the airport you know I was thinking about what I really needed in my wardrobe and I figured it was a silver sparkle cape <laughs> Like, why is this at the airport? Like, I can't get a t-shirt, but I can get a sparkly silver capelet. Actually, I can get it in multiple colors. Here's a gold and navy, but like, just the t-shirt. <laughs> well, that's too much to ask. Or like a t-shirt with like a tiny bit of design. Just like a little bit, like 
more than just black printing the word Miami. Holding a leash and holding a camera at the same time is hard. Um, these are actually legitimately cute. So I'm gonna get these along with the shoes because I would wear these. I would wear these 100%. Um, the man that just walked behind me, he told me earlier that I look good in that hat. So, so you know I'm leaving an impression here at the airport. It's a treasure trove of options. I mean, look who doesn't need like five of these in their lives. That basketball bracelet. Oh, yes. Transform completely into a Miami girl. Like seriously, this airport. If I ever got stuck here and had to buy somebody a gift, it would just be so sad because just not a lot of options. I mean, there's options. They're just questionable options. Um, maybe I should just get myself like one of these as like a fun, playful accessory to the look. Or maybe more, maybe more this. Maybe this is more what I'm in need of right now. Bead Emporium. And I'm debating about this $15 bracelet that makes me feel like I'm part of a superhero group and that like this has powers or I'm like boom, boom, and like something cool happens but nothing cool is happening and it's kind of like a baby bracelet it's real small on my wrist so I'm gonna I'm pass. Just really pushing this Miami girl top. I've now seen it like eight times. A size extra large looks like a size small. Maybe it is for a little girl. I'm bending down to get data sleeve. <laughs> so uh still struggling still struggling to find the things to make the look you've all been waiting for. I mean, what is a Florida airport outfit without some delicious neon coral bracelets? I actually kind of like them. I know they're super taggy, but I love them. So I'm gonna get me some of those. Under real store, it's Sunglass Hut, and I'm gonna go buy myself some new sunglasses because I deserve it. Why not? Let's go buy some sunglasses. Yeah, a little bit out of my budget no sunglasses but good thing to know that you can't get pants in the airport but you can get underwear and perfume there's a lot of places to buy perfume and a fairly good amount of places to buy underwear which is a little terrifying because <laughs> you know when i go on a trip all i want to get at the airport is some underwear and perfume yeah i should just get a pair of underwear and books and like fashion a top because apparently those are the only two things you can get in the airport if you're not flying international We'll figure this out, I swear. We got this. Here's a video proof that I bought everything at the airport. This lovely lady is checking out some of my items. <laughs> I actually managed to put something together. It's very Miami vacation and I'm not sure it's gonna fit. So we'll go on this adventure together. I've never been at a store before where I've bought something and felt like the sales attendants like sigh of relief that somebody finally bought something. <laughs> but that is how it felt shopping at that store. But I got my sweet, sweet outfit really coming together, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna look mad airport hot. Like, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to handle all the sexiness that is gonna be coming out of this airport. So let's just talk about who's the winner here. Me. Me. Now I need to like try to find makeup or something in duty free. Oh shit, we found makeup. And a throw out, shout out to Fergie. Now we're gonna make this a magic moment. Thought I found a solution for my makeup issue, but uh, only international passengers can shop in this duty free. Which I thought duty free was like everyone now. But apparently not, so basically. <laughs> This is getting, this is gonna be terrible. Currently I have earrings and a pair of shoes. Crushing it. Pope, we've just discovered a Mac store. So maybe I can still look fabulous and body paint myself. That could be my outfit too, just a lot of body paint. Think I might get kicked out of the airport though. So you can't pay someone to do your makeup here, but you can buy makeup here. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, I was like waiting in line for a really long time and I was like, I'm getting stressed out. So makeup's off the table, guys. You're dealing with this because I've been told three places I'm not allowed to buy it because I'm not flying international. And then that place, they just did not want to help me when clearly I need help. <laughs> 
I need all kinds of help. I need makeup help. I need some stress reduction. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of proving the point. If you try to get dressed in the airport, it's just not going to be that successful. <laughs> I'm struggling to find a way to balance my phone to film this outfit and all of its glory. Oh, I just remembered I have a camera grip in my backpack. I kind of crushed it. It's got this sweet um, child's purse. That's a flamingo that has turned into a fanny pack. These are children's anklet bracelets turned into chubby person bracelets. This is a $10 cover up that surprisingly fits me really well. These are the earrings I showed you earlier and the shoes. These hurt like a mother. They are not comfortable at all, but I'm like pretty impressed. I am also <laughs> impressed with my ability to jerry rig my camera to film in a bathroom, which is what is happening. Cause I can't like leave my stuff out in the terminal. So I've just have like a pile of stuff here. And I'm just, <laughs> I'm just a creepy person in the bathroom now. Okay. But I think I crushed it. I think I did a really good job of shopping in the terminal. Let's be real here. I'm probably only going to keep earrings, this bag and this. Cause this, <laughs> this needs to be in my life. Like it just needs to be in my life for what purpose, who knows, but I need it. And also these are actually kind of cute. So I did amazing. I glowed up and got fly at the airport. 